What is going on, guys? Jack here, and welcome back to episode number 58 of Park to Prem here with Nottingham Forest. Today, we've got a huge game ahead of us, but if you didn't see yesterday's episode, it was the Champions League quarterfinal. Go watch it before you watch this, of course. There is an FA Cup final on the horizon, and, well, if you watched yesterday's video, you know that today... We're not doing that. It's the Champions League semi-final. We are taking on Barcelona. We've already knocked out Real Madrid. We've already knocked out Atletico Madrid. Now it's time to move on to the next of our Spanish victims. At least that's what I'm hoping. But this Barcelona team is a very good Barcelona team. You can see here they have been dominant in La Liga. Well, for the pretty much the last decade. They're pretty good. Jan Reimer considered their key player. Of course, they've got players like Simplicio up front of past Ballon d'Or winner. And well, last time we met them way, way back at the start of the season in the European Super Cup, we did lose 2-1. It was a pretty close game. It was a hard fought game. That is the only time we've met ourselves and Barcelona. And uh, well, I am certainly going to hope that today we can we'll get a win or two on the board. You can see, since you were last here, we've played a couple of games, including, as I've already alluded to, the FA Cup semi-final, because we beat Manchester United, everyone. And I had an air of deja vu in this game. It finished 1-1, much like the EFL Cup semi-final when we took on United. It went to penalties. Uh, in this game, they scored via Valverde a scrappy goal, and then we almost did the exact same thing, a scrappy goal of our own. It was Irk with it, and, uh, well, it went to the shoot out which we ended up winning and I will level with you if we hadn't won this I would have been pretty blooming upset because we were phenomenal in this game we played really really well and uh, well in the end we got we got the win everyone we got the win we got what we needed and uh, I guess we just have to be relieved that the look of the draw from the penalty shootouts on this occasion went in our favor it certainly hasn't always in the past Anyway, the next game that we had was against Liverpool. This was a chance for us to win the Premier League. A win here, a win at home, and it was done. And, well, you'd hope that it would be plain sailing. But when they took the lead in this game, there was a moment of panic, shall we say. Yes, Liverpool getting the first goal in this game, courtesy of Douglas Willian. The good news is for us, two quick goals before half-time really teed us up for a second half of domination. It was Leak with the first, the right back finding himself high up the pitch to took it away. I think that may even be his first ever goal for the club. Gonzalez then scored a header just before half time from a set piece. And well, in what was a fairly uneventful second half, we had a late corner in added time. We scored that 3-1 it finished. And with that result, the Premier League trophy was lifted. Yes, we were absolutely superb here. Um, top draw performance. The Premier League now being wrapped up is nice. It allows me to put all my eggs into the Champions League basket. And, uh, well, we have still got a small, small chance at getting that ever-elusive 100-point season. Um, there are currently four games left of the year. We need 10 points. So it's not going to be easy. And given my focus on the Champions League, I suppose I can afford to be a little distracted from it. But make no mistake, it would be a really, really nice achievement, I feel like, to get to that elusive 100-point barrier. Anyway, most recently we drew against Tottenham. I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but Andy Easton in the 84th minute grabbed them a share of the spoils. It was a semi-rotated 11, and what that means today is, as we go into this match against Barcelona... We are pretty much at full strength. A couple of injuries to speak of, but not to first-team players. In terms of our starting eleven for this first leg away from home, of course, it's Toby in goal, um, who's actually been a little bit on the decline as of late. I would like, I think, to sign a new goalkeeper. Um, right now, our finances are in a good position, but with only £42 million in transfer budget, I don't know. It's going to be difficult to find a goalkeeper, I feel like, for that price. But we'll give it a go over the summer. Who knows? Dare I uh, suggest we may end up selling a player or two on? Who knows? Um, <laughs> who knows, everyone? Uh, that, it's all a mystery. I'm just saying, who knows? Who, kn who knows? I know. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? Help me. Right, Navio at left back, Sampaio at right back. They've kind of locked down these two positions as their own. I mean, Luis Navio, what an incredible wing back he is. Still improving a little bit and... He's got a little bit lucky, I suppose, not getting injured more. He's been pretty fortunate in terms of, despite his inconsistencies, I feel like we can rely on him. Today, we need him to do some big stuff for us in the Champions League, it feels like. At centre-back, it's the two Ps. It is Ricky Picky and Piotra. At ball in midfielder, we've got Ramirez with Lind and Largo ahead. Largo, as of late, 
He's not been very good, everyone. I don't want to throw him under the bus, but I really need a better performance from you today, Osvaldo. Out on the right, it's going to be Poyana. Out on the left, it's Erk. And up top, it is Gonzalez, who is still in absolutely sensational goal-scoring form. Perhaps his form in the league has tailed off just a little bit, but make no mistake, he is a very, very good player for us today. So let's see how we get on in this game. Away from home for the first leg. I, I don't know if I like that or not. I feel like I, it's great if you keep a clean sheet and if you can get the away goal. If you don't get either of those things, it feels like a massive mountain to climb in the second leg. But regardless, I mean, we, we get a second leg at home eventually. I'm just concerned that with a team that as good as this Barcelona squad, we do get completely kind of blown out in the first leg and we just leave ourselves with a massive mountain to climb. With that all said and done, though, I do want to play a positive brand of football. I want to play on the front foot. We've looked very good over the course of this year. Just as a reminder, they've got perhaps the greatest camera Vinga I've ever seen in Football Manager playing at centre mid for them. He is disgusting. And they've got Phil Foden and Fatty still in their team. It's it's a pretty good Barcelona team. I'm going to be honest, everyone. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. But here are our boys. Here are our men. They're not boys. They're, they're, they're moving on up in the world. Hopefully, they're going to be able to put in a super mature performance for us today against Barcelona in the new camp. You can see I've got my iconic green and red suit on. I was going to say for the occasion. I'm always wearing that green and red suit. Football manager, we need a feature where we can have different suits for different occasions, please. Anyway, uh, as much as I want to talk about that stuff, I need to defend on the pitch here as they're on the attack from the off. We're only a minute in. They're in our penalty area. I do not like it. And Ansu Fati does like it. He's found the back of the net and this is the exact situation... You don't really want to happen inside the first minute of a game against Barcelona, I feel like, in the Champions League. I don't want to, you know, be too down on ourselves. It's slightly suboptimal, though. Ever so slightly. It's not, not in the script. It's not what you, you aim to do here, to go a goal down. Oh, fatty wheels away in celebration. Foden with the assist as well. And now they've got a corner. We have not been allowed to get started in this game. It's going to be Simplicio over the ball with it for them. On this occasion, Piotr heads it away, but only as far as Simplicio, who lays it to the edge of the box, and oh my word, Vincente Hernandez just smashes it into the top corner. There are five minutes gone here, and I, I don't want to sound negative. I don't want to sound like I'm panicked. It's not, it's not a great situation to find ourselves in here. It, it's not... It's not what we need. I'm going to make a couple of changes here. I'm actually going to set the wing backs to stay on defensive. And then I'm going to just give Piot Piana permission to stay on the attack. I want less overlaps here. I don't want us to get caught out of position quite as much. Anyways, Camavinga about to get an early card? No, he sweet talks the ref out of it. We have got a set piece here, although it leads to absolutely nothing. I don't want to panic and start making too many changes too quickly. You know, ultimately they've had two shots on target and they've both flown in. It was very nearly 3-3 three three there, but um, I don't know. I, we've got to change something right in this match. I'm concerned about the overlap. I'm hoping that if we have the, the kind of wide attacking midfielders set to go forward a little bit more, we've got an out ball. We've got the ability to, you know, I guess, attack without overcommitting players on the overlap surging onwards. Kind of having three players lurking in the final third for us. Anyway, it's Sampaio with the ball here. Lays it inside to Gonzalez. That's what we needed. That is what I want to see. Sampaio at right back, as a wing back, of course, even on defend, he will still get forward. He will still put a ball into the box. And on this occasion, he's picked out Gonzalez, who made some really intelligent movement just to get free at the near post, just about keeps himself onside, squeezes it into that bottom corner. And uh, well, it's an action-packed first 20 minutes here in the Champions League semi-final. If you were concerned of a cagey affair... This, this hasn't been it. This has not been it. And I'm going to demand more from the players and get all the smiley faces going here. After a bit of a slow start, I feel like we're finding a rhythm now. And well, this first half is quickly just flying away. 2-1, of course, the result that we had when we played them in the Super Cup. Sampaio heads it away to Poyana. They've committed a lot of men forward here for a set piece. Poyana is quick as well. He will happily run and run and run. Gonzalez and Erk in the middle. Poyana can't beat the first man, but it falls back to him. Cutting inside, hits it onto his right foot. Vlad Poyana. Remember the name, ladies and gentlemen. He writes himself into folklore, I think, with a goal like that. Oh, my word. Down the right-hand side he goes. 
Defender puts in a tackle, but it falls back to him. Bit of a, a, a fortuitous bounce, I suppose, but he just cuts inside, smashes it outside of the right foot. It's 2-2 here before half time. We were two goals down in this game. I am very, very pleased with that fight back. Going to tell the players I'm delighted. As much as I could, you know, be worried about them getting a bit complacent, I don't think they're going to get complacent in this game because whilst I'm happy, we are still drawing in this match. I feel like I don't like to say I'm delighted with your performance if I'm winning. But in this kind of situation, I was going to say I'm happy to say it. Can I take back the team talk? I'm not delighted, lads. I'm not delighted. They've scored, right, demand more. 3-2. Ball whipped in this occasion. It was Adam in the middle. Romero short to Fatty. He lays it inside to Foden. And Foden pulling a lot of strings here today. Ramirez has been tasked with containing him. And you'd have to say he's failed in that task thus far. Ball thrown forward towards Erk, who's never really going to stand a chance of winning them there. Lind with a tackle that flies in, but Adam now getting in behind the fullback. This is a bit of a situation I was scared of. Adam whips in Fatty, kicks it over. We've been pretty poor in areas of this pitch. I'm a bit concerned about our midfield feeling so frustrated. Erk's had an awful game. I'm going to bring in Van Dijk. Navio on a booking, that is a recipe for disaster, and I do not like this kind of cooking. We're going to take him off. I'm going to try and encourage the lads whenever I can. Poyana giving away a free kick here. Simplicio over it. He's a bit of a set-piece demon. We need to be afraid of him. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. The free kick hits the post. Fortuitous how it fell to Fatty. But the initial free kick by Simplicio is just silly. It's just silly. Toby, spectacular dive to get across, but unfortunately, in committing that save, or trying to save it, I should say, he's ended up leaving himself on the floor in a bit of a, a situation, so to say. And you can see here, Barcelona as a team have just turned up big in this game. We've not shown anything in this second half. Trying to get the players to do something. We've gone on to attacking. I can't do any more shouts. I have got one last sub. With a matter of minutes left. I'm going to take off Poyana, who's tired. Boyer onto the pitch. Feels a little in vain here, and it is going to be in vain. It's going to finish 4-2 to Barcelona. I mean, they had some really good chances in that second half. I realise the blue here is kind of hard for you guys to read, probably. But ultimately, that, that rebound with the open goal has kind of... I don't know, put that result beyond doubt. A good fight back in the first half. Maybe I shouldn't have told the players I was happy. Maybe I should have got more mean with them. I mean, the good news is for us, it's not all done there. I'm pissing off all the players. It's just a bad situation. It's a good job that we have a week, I think, to reflect and get our head sorted and get our head in the right place. I'm not happy with how that played out. 4-2 against the reigning champions of the Champions League. Leaves us a fair bit to do going into the second leg, but... I do feel like we can still do it. Maybe I'm kidding myself here. Um, the game is in just over a week's period. I'm sorry, Watford. As exciting as you would be, we've won the Premier League. I have no interest in playing a first team 11 against you. I have no interest in doing a live commentary against you. And so I tell you what, folks, I'm going to go forward. I'll join you guys in eight days time at the city ground. We need a little bit of a miracle, but I feel like we're capable. Let's do this. Okay, guys. This is going to be tough. This is not going to be... This is not the situation I wanted to come back for for the second leg. 4-2 down. We are at home. We did get two crucial away goals, which could kind of help us out quite significantly. But against a team like Barcelona with their quality, it's going to be tough. We're going to bring Ramirez in. I think I'm just going to play the same 11 again. I feel like this is our best squad. If we play to our best... We can do well. We're at home. I want to go for it a little bit, so we're not going to start off with the defensive changes I started with previously. Um, I don't want tomorrow's episode to just be an FA Cup final. That would be a bit... I don't want to say boring. Like It's a cup final. It's exciting alongside the end of season review. It's not quite a Champions League final. And while knowing that in the other semi-final, Manchester United have just beaten Dortmund and that they'd be the opposition... I mean, if we win this, we have to be favourites, basically. United, a team that we've butted heads with in just about every competition, it feels like. I think we'd go into the final as favourites, but we're definitely not favourites here. Here we are. This is the team at our disposal. A bit of mixed form. It's worth noting that in the league, we did beat Wolves with a rotated 11. But let's be honest, 
that's that's not the focus of today. The league's won. 100 points, yeah, it'll be nice if we do it, but it's all about this. This is what I feel like the save game is going to come down to. Big nights in the Champions League, trying to win back-to-back -back Champions Leagues, and I feel like we need to win one here this year, really, with how good we've been. Anyway, a good early chance in our favour. Header from a corner goes over, but there is another chance here. Poyana, Sampaio, he was perhaps our best performer in the first leg, and he's got lots of space again here. Whips in. Gonzalez is under it, but his header just wide of the post. Early chances going in our favour, but just not hitting the target is a tad bit disappointing. Going to try encouraging the players here, I think. We need to hopefully stay on the front foot. We've got the home advantage here. I'm hoping that's going to spur us on. So far, we're yet to have a shot on target, though, that does concern me slightly. And whilst it might seem a bit preemptive, I'm actually going to go to attacking here kind of early. We need to win this game by a two-goal margin. We finally have our first shot on target, but unfortunately, it's come right at the end of the half. That said, there's maybe one last highlight here. Gonzalez, Irk to his left. Irk did not turn up in that last game. Can he turn up here? He skips past his man. Can he find the target? He can. But the keeper just tips it wide. With my mouse cursor then, I tried to push the ball into the net. That's not how it works, sadly. We've got a corner here. It's going to be cleared away, but that is a golden opportunity, you'd imagine, to end the half. Such a great chance, but it's going to remain nil-nil here. They have had one shot all game. Going to tell the players I'm far from pleased. We've played okay here. We've not played badly. We've not played badly at all. Largo lumps it forward. Gonzalez just a bit isolated at the moment. Cleared away, but only as far as Poyano. You could thread through Go uh, Gonzalez there. He has to. Gonzalez with it. Bit isolated now. Going out wide. Sampaio. Few options in the middle. Irk is in there. He goes on his lonesome. And Sampaio, who was man of the match in terms of our team in the first leg, he's turned up big here with a... An uncharacteristic goal. I would have been a bit annoyed there if he'd shot and it had just missed. But I'll tell you what, the shot has nestled in the back of the net. Gonzalez to Sampaio. He skips past his man. Strikes it in. Just squeezes in at the near post. The keeper. Going to feel disappointed to get beaten there. But we have a chance, everyone. And now we've got a corner. Largo over it. Whips in. Piotra, free header, scores. And this game is turned on its head. It is on its head right now. It is 4-4, but we would be going through on away goals. Largo whips in. Piotra, the captain, he leaps like Nova Man can leap. The keeper comes out to try and meet it. Doesn't get there. I'm going to go to positive here, but I want to keep on the front foot at this point. Of course, if they get one goal, we will need to score another. If we get one goal, they have to score two. The next goal is going to be the critical one, if indeed there is to be a next goal in this game. Well, it's Barcelona currently in possession, looking like the team likely to, well, maybe craft out an opportunity here. Simplicio to Hernandez, going all the way back to the goalkeeper. or well, not the goalkeeper, the centre-back. Hernandez to Vinicius again. We are not really allowing them to get into our half here, but all it takes is one defence splitting pass like that. Ode clean through. Toby, huge stop by the keeper. He made that title winning save at the end of last season. I need a heroic half an hour from him here. Simplicio whips in. Toby collects again. Oh my word, it's 4-4. It's a Champions League semi-final. We've been the better team, but they have created a few opportunities here that leave me nervous. Navio. With 20 minutes left, we should probably look to make some subs. Navio, Lind, Irk. Penalty? We're going to VAR. Is it going to be given? I feel like it has to be. Irk was hacked from behind. He's struggling a little bit, is Irk. Are you okay, buddy? Oh, this is huge. This is huge. It's a penalty. A goal here, and they need two. And the man over it is Largo. Criticised his form at the start of the episode... And he's missed the target. He's missed the target completely. Oh, my God. I'm going to take him off. Adrian Smith, on you come, lad. Lind is tired as well. You know what? We're going to bring in Smith. We're going to bring in Van Dijk. Navio on a booking is just... just don't, don't go there. Don't risk it. And also, we're going to just start to time waste a little bit. Oh, we have we squandered a great opportunity there to put the game beyond doubt. 
The time is trickling away here. Five minutes left. Time to go even more time wasting. Nothing is happening. There are six minutes of added time. There is a highlight. Van Dyke, fresh off the bench. Bring it forward, mate. Run on. To his right is Sampaio. Gives it back to Van Dyke. Lovely build up play here. Sampaio, the right back. He's been superb in the last couple of episodes. Van Dyke to Smith. Poyana's through. Poyana has to finish it. He hits the woodwork. It's cleared away. There's four minutes left. Please just end the game. Oh my word. Oh my word. What a sensational result. We absolutely dominated that game. We absolutely dominated it. Oh, we're into a Champions League final. I thought after the first leg, we'd left ourselves with too much to do, but I don't know. At the City ground, we just tend to play a lot better. Sampaio, best performer yet again. The whole defence played superbly, though. Toby with a huge stop with about half an hour left. And well, I said it going into that game. Got a Champions League final against United to look forward to. Oh, that's the kind of game we want to end the season with. Wow. Champions League final. And we've qualified for the next FIFA Club World Cup. Which I think starts this summer. Yeah, it does. We've got a, we've got a summer of the FIFA Club World Cup. Oh, my word. Didn't really get to enjoy the FIFA Club World Cup much with last year's Park to Prem. So that's really cool to make it into that competition. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a crazy episode over two legs. What a great performance, though. This leg was dominant. If we can play this well against United in the final, I'll be a very happy bunny. So I guess tomorrow we've got a good episode. We've got Chelsea FA Cup final. We've got United Champions League final. If we just look at the past meetings between ourselves and Manchester United, on the whole, we have a very, very good record. I don't want to big us up too much, but I would be disappointed if we don't beat them in the final. That said, we've met them in the EFL Cup and the semi-final of the FA Cup this year. On both occasions, it's gone to penalties. I'm not, I'm not sure my heart could handle that if it went to that again. Oh, my word, I need to go calm down, everyone. Tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's a huge day. I hope you are going to be excited and ready for it. It's an FA Cup final. It's a Champions League final. It is a huge one. And I, for one, cannot wait. I will see you guys then. If you've enjoyed today's video, do drop a like on it. I'll see you again soon. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out. <laughs>